Hi everyone! We're going to take a look today at creating your very own shirt in the IMView Studio application. We're going to be using the Bella Crop Top and the How to Create a Shirt tutorial in the Creator Education Center. Let's take a look at that process now. First, you'll want to visit the Mesh's product page and download any available texture maps. Here you can see three maps available, in both a texture version and a UV wire map version. With these provided templates, the next step is to create your customized textures. We have two tutorials available for more information on how to customize your textures, both for Photoshop and a free alternative program called GIMP. Here are the textures created in those tutorials. When you have your textures created, it's time to submit your product. If you haven't already, be sure to start a new project in IMView Studio. You can do this with the yellow create button here or the plus sign here. Let's find the Bella crop top. The easier way to find an item you already know you want to use is by getting the product ID number from the product page, which is found in the URL or here at the bottom of the page. Additionally, you can use the search bar to look for a product. Here you can see someone has submitted a derived product with the same name, and this is where the derivation chain comes in handy. You want to check and make sure you're using the furthest back version of a product that you'll like to work with. Doing this helps to ensure that you've got the smallest file size and lowest starting price for your product. Click the product in the chain, and then click Derive. If you're new to Studio, we have some convenient tutorials walking you through this new program available in the Creator Education Center. For now, all of the tools we need are here in the Material Components tab and the Inspector tab, as well as the Info tab when we're ready to submit our product. In the Material menu, you can see all of the components that make up this product. Clicking on an item brings up its details in the Inspector panel. You'll see the texture map, the slots for opacity, normal, and shininess maps here. This texture is the back of the shirt, this is the front of the shirt, and this is the sleeves texture. To apply the textures we created, simply click the plus sign and add image. Navigate to your new files, select the texture and hit open. When you have your textures inserted, use the preview button to load your new textures. Go ahead and use the camera tools to go all around to check that the products look as intended. Check your seams, your colors, and that everything meets the terms of service for IMVU. The next step would be to create a catalog icon which you can do a variety of ways using the photo editing software of your choice. When you're ready to submit your product, go to the Info tab. Here you can see the general settings you need to fill out in order to upload your product. First, click to apply your catalog image you created. Then you'll want to name your product and apply your rating. This product, as like most products in the catalog, is GA, or General Audience, as it meets the minimum coverage guidelines and other factors laid out in the virtual goods policy. The category is inherited by the parent product and should be accurate already, and the compatible ID is for the avatar type, 80 is the female avatar. Next, select your profit margin. You'll see here the total price the end product will cost in your catalog. Next, you'll see the fees to submit. Enter up to 12 keywords separated by a comma. Lastly, the last couple settings need to be verified. A product should not be left as derivable if you're not creating something completely new or adding a new mesh material. Usually when you derive from a product in the catalog, you'll leave this turned off. You do want it to be searchable, and I recommend allowing it to be in third-party bundles. When you're all set, hit the submit button and confirm by hitting submit again. When it's all set, a confirmation will appear and it will open your product page in the browser. You can add your own description to this page if you'd like by clicking the Add to HTML Description link. When you're all set, hit Publish to submit your product to peer review, the final step before a product is available for purchase. Good luck and have fun! I can't wait to see what you come up with.